24 miles, something like that. I checked the app this morning, actually. It broke going three miles per hour. I looked down and I was like, hey, why isn't the light on anymore? Hit the power button, nothing happened. Hmm, oh well. So, I think I do know what's wrong with it probably. It's like the same thing that happens on every one of them. You would think they would probably learn to fix their mistakes. But in the rear, in the BMS compartment, if you smack the tail, it will usually loosen up the BMS connector and cause it to come loose. That's what I'm hoping it is. That way I can just kind of plug it back in. I actually meant to kind of open up the board and glue it, but it's kind of like you buy a brand new board, you don't want to take it apart just to prevent something from breaking, you know? But I guess I should have done that. But anyways, we're going to open it up and see if we can't diagnose the reason the Pine X is broke. But it's officially broke at 200 and something miles, and that's what $1,400 will get you. Promotion's biggest nightmare is me working on their stuff. Oh, yes, there we are. As I expected. So, this right here is the problem. Well, it is a problem. Now, uh, see if we can. We're gonna go ahead and let's see. This thing is really crammed in here with this bigger battery. I'd like to take the BMS out and actually inspect it, see if there's any issues. I don't even know which side's the battery side. There is a certain way you're supposed to disconnect a BMS so that you don't leave like a, wi a live battery just running through your BMS. Holy crap. Whoa. Uh, do you guys see that? Uh. All right, so there's a bigger problem <laughs> than just the connector being un undone. All right, that's really scary. <laughs> um, um, I don't even, I'm at a loss for words currently. I've never had that happen before. Let me take this thing out and we'll, uh, we'll, <laughs> we'll further inspect. So here's the problem that I always have, is this thing comes unconnected. It should be snug. It's called an XT60 connector, and they make bigger connectors on that, but XT60 is what they call it, and it's supposed to stay snug, and they always come loose. That's how it should be. So what I generally do is I usually come in here, and 
I'll, I'll open my boards up and I'll either glue it or I've got duct tape on the pint holding this to where it won't come off because, you know, they always come off and that's bad because once it circuits out, it'll always fry the BMS in this little area. And once your BMS is fried, well, you've got a board that you can't fix. This BMS is looking pretty good. I don't see any real bad circuits. Everything looks good on the BMS, which is good. So... That's what I was mostly afraid of, but I was not anticipating the in, the battery cable being completely disconnected uh, from the battery. That's crazy, man. Wow. It just like ripped off? Yeah, I've never had that happen before. Wow. I don't know how to even, I mean, that's out of my level of fixing. I'll have to send that off to a battery tech guy to fix that. It doesn't look like it'll be too bad. They'll just have to open it up, splice that wire back in there, and reseal the battery up, and we'll be ready to shred again. But anyhow, I guess the Pine X will be down for a while. I don't know how I could have prevented that, other than, you know, that's crazy. Wow. Alrighty. Well, 